Hello, hello. Hello, teacher. How are you? Hello, hello. I'm good. Jose Samuel. Hello, Ingrid. How hello, are you? teacher. Hello. ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo estamos? Super. That's great. So, aquí voy enciendo mi cámara. Aquí estamos listos. Bien. Hello, class. Hey, so punctual. Very nice. You are before eight. And that's okay. So, hi, Ingrid. Hi, Carlos Manuel. It's really nice to see you guys. Let's wait for your classmates. I can see Marina, Emma, Delmi, and Zaira, and Samuel. So guys, don't forget to turn on your cameras. Let's wait for your classmates. So let me ask you, how was your weekend? Was it good? Was it a bad weekend? How was your weekend? What activities you did during the weekend, Saturday and Sunday? Sleep. Sleep, okay. Sleep. What else? What else did you do? ¿Qué más hicieron? What did you do during the weekend? You know, this was a rainy weekend. Rainy weekend. Estuvo lloviendo, okay? So, it's better when you sleep. Okay, raining during sleep. Very good. So, I already have nine students. Nine. So, you know, I was checking the platform and the homework. Wow, a lot of you have already completed section number five. Sabiendo la plataforma y el avance, como van? Veo ya en sí a su mayoría que han finalizado hasta la sección número cinco y el examen final incluido. Eso es muy bueno para que así esta semana ya quedemos solo con las clases, las sesiones de refuerzo. Y al finalizar el día jueves, quedemos ya libres de este módulo, ¿ok? No olviden cualquier consulta, cualquier duda. Tratemos de hacerla durante la sesión para aclararla y que ustedes puedan trabajar en las actividades asignadas, ¿ok? Tengo tres, cinco, trece estudiantes del grupo. Thirteen students, quienes ya completaron todas las secciones. De la sección 1 hasta la sección 5. 13 estudiantes ya han completado, ¿ok? Con el resto, solo me queda pendiente la sección número 5. Y hay dos compañeros que igual les queda pendiente la sección 4, completarla hasta el 100%, ¿ok? Con la sección 4, let me check. Gabriela Nicole, creo que veamos si está acá en la clase. Gabriela Nicole. Sección número 4, no está completa hasta el 100%. Y de la sección 5, pues ese es para esta semana. Ok, class. So, let's start right now. Que una hora se va volando. Empecemos ya, sección número 5. The first thing that we are going to do is to go and visit the platform. And to check the videos, check the videos and the activities for today. Vamos a dar tal vez hasta las ocho y cinco para poder pasar a la asistencia. Que ya estemos todos presentes y que puedan reportarse, ¿ok? So, let's start the class right now. Look. Section number five. Tenemos ya la última sección, last section. Section number five. Don't forget that for this week we have section number five. And the final exam. Those are the activities that you need to complete in the platform, okay? Section number five. What is the name of section five? I can't, I skate very well. So let's find out. 
in this section, we are going to practice a lot to have new vocabulary and new grammar structures, okay? So let's check. The first video is right here. So look, this is the first objective for this lesson. Lesson objective 5.1. By the end of this class, you will learn vocabulary related to sports. Sports in the US, in Canada, and why not here in El Salvador. Al final de esta clase, ustedes aprenderán vocabulario relacionado con los deportes populares en Estados Unidos y Canadá. Y también le vamos a agregar nuestro toque de El Salvador, ¿ok? Popular games, sports in the US and Canada, ¿ok? So, let's watch the first video and let's find out what is this information about, ¿ok, class? Here we go. Why skating and go me indican si se escucha. Yes. Yes. Se escucha, yes. Se escucha suave yes. o fuerte. ¿Cómo se escucha? Normal. 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 He visto que en algunas clases sí se escuchan muy suaves los videos. Quizás es el video en sí, pero aquí vamos. Let's click on play. Hi everyone. In this class, you'll learn vocabulary related to popular sports in the U.S. and Canada. Let's get started by listening and practicing the vocabulary. Sports seasons in the U.S. and Canada. In the spring, people play golf and play soccer. In the summer, people play baseball, play tennis, play volleyball, and go swimming. In the fall, people play football, go bike riding, and go hiking. In the winter, People play hockey, play basketball, go ice skating, and go skiing. Okay, so take a look at this one. Remember that in these countries, United States and Canada, they can easily see or experience the four seasons during the year, okay? What are the seasons? Do you remember the name of seasons? Four seasons. For example, spring, that is a season. Can you mention the three others? Spring summer. is the first. Ah, very good. Summer is number two. Winter, fall. Winter, and winter. fall. What is the other way to say fall in English? Otoño. Hmm? Yeah, but there are two ways. Hay dos formas de llamarle a fall. Do you remember? Eh, no? no estoy segura cómo se pregunta, pero se escribe autumn. Ah, so can you spell it? ¿Pueden deletrearlo para mí? Yes, go. Mm -hmm. A. Spelling. Let's practice spelling. A, U. Who knows? Spelling. Go and check your notebook. I guess you have this information from the previous previous uh, classes that you have. T. Very good. T. What is next? What letter is it next? O. U. It's U. Mm -mm. M. 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 And. And, and a u t u m m is that the correct spelling or do you want yeah. to change anything yes right so okay. don't forget that in english we have autumn or fall autumn or fall exactly it's a different way to say fall but the most common and easier to remember is Fall. So we have spring, summer, fall, and winter. During each season, people practice different sports. For example, during the spring, 
spring, if you notice here, they practice two sports. Which are they? Golf and soccer. And soccer, very good. How about during summer? Can you mention the four sports that they practice? Baseball, baseball, tennis, very good. Very good. They play baseball, tennis, volleyball, and they go swimming. That's okay. How about during winter? The one that is in blue, winter. Estén azul información. They play. Hockey, 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 basketball, 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 basketball ice, go ice skating, skating, skating and skiing. Skiing, very good. Ice skating and skiing. How about the last one? Fall, fall. What sports do they play? Okay. Play baseball, basketball, ice skating, ice skating. Exactly, they play hiking. hiking. They play football, go bike riding, and go hiking. What is hiking? Do you know this sport? What is hiking about? ¿Qué se hacen hiking? hiking. Eh, no sé si soy mal, pero es como escalar. Exactly. You can go and hike a mountain a montaña or any other high place, okay? So how, yes, very good. So how about this one? Veamos, tenemos esta información. What is this one? Skiing. Esquiar, teacher. That's okay, very good. Remember that we are in winter and they have snow. En estos países tienen nieve, so? Skiing, very good. Esquiar, esquiar, muy bien. So, that's it. How about in El Salvador? Do we have any of these sports or do we practice any of these sports in El Salvador? Play basketball, soccer. Yeah, we play soccer. basketball, swim, soccer, swim, swim, swim as well, volleyball. Volleyball. Baseball. 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 Tennis. Tennis, that's okay. Do we soccer. Ah, okay, soccer? Do we play golf here in El Salvador? Okay. Golf. No. Golf. No, right? Mm, quizá la minoría, un poquito de personas, tal vez. Golf, yes, right, but it's not so common. It's not common in El Salvador. How about winter sports? Basketball, yes, we play it, right? Hockey, of course we cannot. No hockey, we cannot go ice skating or this one. Only basketball from this one. So the rest of them, yeah, we can play. So that is the information. This is vocabulary. Vocabulary related to sports. So let's continue. Now it's your time to put this vocabulary into practice. I would like for you to describe the sports that you play in different seasons. For example, in the spring, I play soccer. In the summer, I go swimming. In the fall, I play football. Very good. In the winter, I play basketball. Try to give as many examples as you possibly can. Think about your family, friends, and co-workers, and the sports that they play. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. Very good. So this is what we're going to have. We are going to talk about sports. Cameras on. Cameras on, please. I already have 25 students. Very good job. 25 students. 
So don't forget to have your cameras on all the time. So let me go and check. And let's check the, here we go. This is class number 13. Class number 13, look. Section number five, I can, I can I skate very well. Class number 13 and the topics for this class are sports vocabulary and WH questions. Very good class. So look, I have the same information here. So let's repeat. In the spring, people in play. The spring, uh -huh. people. In the spring, people. Play golf, play soccer. Play golf, play soccer. Play golf, play soccer. Okay, Carlos Manuel, can you read the information for summer? Okay. In the summer, people play baseball, play tennis, play volleyball, go swimming. Go swimming, very good. Carmen Lisette, can you please continue with the information for fall, fall. In the fall, people play football, okay. go bike riding, go hiking. Hike, go bike riding, that's okay. And Carmen Guadalupe, can you finish with winter information, please? Winter. Can you read please? Winter. This one. In the winter. In the winters, people play hockey, play basketball, go uh, ice, go ice skating. skiing. Skating, uh huh. He go skiing. Go okay. skiing. That's okay. That's okay. Very good. So, how do we make sentences? In the winter, let's give personal information. The most information personal. In the winter, I play basketball. Look at this sentence. Can you give me another example using winter? Usando winter classes. In the winter, In the I, winter I play soccer. Very good. I play soccer. And the last example. In the winter, I, I play. go skiing. Okay. I go skiing. Even if, the, if we don't have, so in the winter, I go skiing. So class, look at these sentences using I, I go skiing. Oh, aquí me faltó el I. Go back. I go skiing. Usemos oraciones dando información personal. Okay, no importa que no los practiquemos aquí en El Salvador, pero practiquemos el vocabulario, okay? from the different seasons. What are we going to do? Listen, we are going to write, I need you to write in groups, groups of three, okay? How many sentences? I need five, five sentences. Quiero que ocupen las cuatro estaciones, cinco deportes diferentes. Está claro como lo vamos a hacer? I go skiing, I play basketball, I go ride biking and similar. So I'm going to group you so you can practice with your classmates writing some different sentences. Don't forget, we need to write sentences. And after that, after that you have these sentences, what are we going to do? We are going to visit the platform again. And if you see, we have a discussion bottom. Here we go. So 
after that you have completed, I need you to go to the platform, click on add post, and write the sentence. For example, in the summer, I go ride biking. This is my example, okay? I'm just going to add one. Pero en el caso de ustedes van a agregar las cinco que escribieron con sus compañeros. Five, ¿ok? Cuando ya la tengan. Bueno, acá es el título. Here, aquí va. Y le damos Submit. Ok, oh, Title. Tenemos que poner un título. Pongámosle entonces Sports. Sports. ¿Qué lo va a hacer? Sports. Look. And I have the first comment or the first, in this case, um, example, okay? Example. So is it clear what we are going to do? We are going to work in groups, write examples in your notebook, and then you are going to go to the platform and type the example. Is that clara la actividad, chicos? Yes, no? Yes. Yes, it is. Very good. No, uno es el encargado en el grupo de recopilar esas oraciones y ponerlas en el post. Okay, so here we go. Okay, Stacy. Ya explico en el chat también. No te preocupes, Stacy. Voy a explicar de qué es la actividad. Here we go, class. Les comparto también en WhatsApp la información. Here we go. There you go, very good job. Mm -hmm. There you go, go Saira and Ingrid, very good. And Wendy, go please, go work with your group. Saira and Wendy. A hacer cinco oraciones. Mm -hmm. Por ejemplo, yo diría, hay go play soccer. Uh -huh. y, y, y que ocupemos las estaciones. Pero... Sí, las est de las cuatro estaciones. Ok. Entonces, podría ser... ¿Cuál dijo? ¿Qué deporte dijo? I go play soccer. ¿Y en qué temporada? Sí. En summer. En summer. I play soccer. In summer, I play soccer. La otra, son cinco. Okay. No, no. Título siempre le pongo. Sports. Sports. Uh -huh. The summer I play. Volleyball. Es, ¿cómo se escribe es, la voz? V. Ajá. V. 
o English. V O W L W X L L L Perdón, perdón. W L W L Ajá. Así, ¿verdad? Ajá. Doble L. La V ah. O doble L. Ah, ok. Vale. Eh, y luego. Y. Mm. En inglés. Y. Es E. <risa> e. <risa> Perdón. Y. <risa> um, y. Y es. Quiera. Mm -hmm. B. A. W. L. Luego. Uh -huh. Yes. <ríe> Me, um, yo voy a poner una de and de... entonces sería I go bake raisin algo así ¿Cómo? Una pregunta, ¿serían cinco oraciones por cada estación? No, there are five in total. Just five. You can ah, pick sí, one sí. per season and an extra one. Cinco en total, ¿ok? So, so you can work faster, ¿no? Ok. Ok. Listo, ya las coloqué en la plataforma. Eh, le voy a dar lectura. Sería, In the summer I go diving. In the winter I play basketball. In the fall I buy writing. In the, in the spring I play soccer. En lo que acaba de enviar ella al WhatsApp, dice que son cinco ejemplos. Ah, ok. Faltaría uno. Y ahora subí a la plataforma. Um... <ríe> ya, ah, bueno. Eh, ¿Están viendo la pantalla? Sí. Perfecto. A ver, ok. Eh... Otra, ¿no? Eh, eh, play, play, este, ¿cómo se llama este deporte? Eh, los que andan en moto y todo eso, cuando van a las montañas, ¿cómo eh, es? Creo que sería Go, go Motocross. Sí, ¿verdad? Eh, yo yo bueno, coloqué... Dejemos este. ¿Perdón? Dejemos este que puso usted, si quiere. El voleibol. Ajá. Ah, vaya, está bien. Creo que quizás con esa, ¿verdad? Sí, dejamos tres cada uno para no para avanzar. Porque ya se va a terminar el tiempo. Sí, el siguiente es in the four. Four, otoño. In the Ahí four. podemos poner. Hi girls, Gaby, Nereida y Emma. Did we finish? Me falta una. Ah, just one. Okay, very good. So don't forget that this is a group work. You need to converse it, speak in practice. Very good, speak in practice. Did you finish, Nereida? Just one. Ya casi una me falta, teacher. Okay, okay, great. que okay, ya los tenemos entonces ya estarían Ahora, en el 5 sí, solo hay que ver cómo podemos hacer para subirla una plataforma okay. voy a ver si puedo entrar yo ahorita para ponerlas ahí de una sola vez
Did you finish, Juliana and Bernardo? Did you finish? Uh, yes. Yes, you did. Okay. So. Yes. Uh, okay. Uh, sport. In the summer, my family got swimming. Very good. In the winter, people play basketball. Great. In, in the spring, I play golf. In the fall, my brother go bike riding. Go oh, bike riding. Very good job. So, in the fall, they play football. That's okay. That's it. Yes. So five, five, yeah, five sentences. sentences. Oh. Yeah, five sentences. Okay. So let's go back. It's time to go back and share with your classmates. Okay, time to go back and let's check the sentences. What sentences do you have, class? There we go. Did you finish? Irma, did you finish? Yes. Yes, teacher. Very good job. So let's go back. So let's see, I'm going to check the attendance list as well right now. Monday, April 4th. Here we go, attendance list. So let's wait for your classmates. Class, I'm going to check the attendance list. If you listen to your name, say here or present. Please be ready to say here or present. And let me start with, let me see. Okay. Esperemos que lleguen todos. 25 students, ya estamos listos. Eh, Amilcar Edgardo Hernández. Bernardo Antonio Herrera Díaz. Present teacher. Present. Carlos Manuel Ramos Cepeda. Present teacher. Y de paso reportarle que tengo problemas con la cámara. Empecé a tener problemas ahorita con la cámara. Por si okay. no lo puedo activar. Ok, Carlos Manuel. Thank you for letting me know. Carmen uh -huh. Guadalupe Escamilla. Present teacher. Carmen Lizette Santillana. Present teacher. Claudia Lizette López. Present teacher. Delmi Carolina Sosa. Present teacher. Emma Yamilet Corea. Present. Gabriela Nicole Hueso. Present. Gerson Antonio Hernández. I'm here. Very good. Ingrid Yamilet Arias. Present. Irma Raquel García. Present. Jaime Osvaldo Cortés. Present teacher. José Samuel Rodríguez. Present teacher. Juliana Bergeli Martínez. Present teacher. Karen Ivette Calleja. Karen Ivette Calleja. Ok. Catherine Abigail García. Present. Catherine Alicia Martínez. Present. Katia Elizabeth Serrano. Sí. Kelly Magdalena Rivera. Present. Marina del Carmen Menéndez. Present. Marvin Raimundo Pinto. Present, teacher. Nereida Patricia González. Present. Stacy Nicole Rivera. Present. Wendy del Carmen González. Present. Yancy Andrea Meléndez. Yancy. Ah, there you are. Very good. 
Zaira Jamilet Figueroa. There we go. Did I mention you guys? Is somebody missing? Ron in missing? the sand. Who's missing? Nadie? Mencioné a todos? Be in class. So let me check your sentences. You were working in groups and you were writing down some examples using sports. Sports from United States and Canada in the different seasons. So let me listen to your five sentences. Let me start with Irma Raquel. Can you read your examples, please? Go, Irma. In the fall, I play football. Great. In the summer, I play tennis. Uh -huh. In the spring, I go play golf. You play golf, very good. In the winter, I play soccer. I play soccer. Excellent. Uh -huh. Don't worry, but you did a great job. Very good. So let me ask. Um, who? Zaira, Zaira Jamilet. Can you please read your sentences? Zaira Jamilet. Uh, in the summer, I do batting. In the summer, I do tennis. In the winter, I play hockey. In the fall, I play football. Okay. Spring is social. So very good job. So if you notice, we mention the season and then the sport that we play. In the winter, I play in the summer, okay, and so on. Questions about this information or do you know how to give this information? Preguntas o sabemos cómo expresar este tipo de comentarios. What sports do you play? Is it clear? Do we need more practice? Yes or no? No. No, right? For me, I guess this is a very easy and understandable topic. So if you notice, we can move to the next lesson objective that it says by the end of this class, you will learn how to ask and answer simple person WH questions. Additionally, you will practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in real life settings. Al final de esta clase aprenderán cómo formular y responder preguntas interrogativas con el WH en presente simple. Además, practicarán una conversación la cual ilustra cómo se utiliza este tema en un escenario de la vida real. For this, we have this conversation and we need to watch this video. It's the same, I guess this is a very easy topic. So we can practice and we can continue using sports vocabulary. So here we go. Sometimes it's not necessary to add a noun. Just Okay, let me go back. Hi everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to ask and answer simple present WH questions. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. So Justin, what do you do in your free time? Well, I love sports. Really? What sports do you like? Hmm. Hockey, baseball, and soccer are my favorites. Wow, you're a really good athlete. When do you play all these sports? Oh, I don't play these sports. I just watch them on television. Do you play sports or watch a lot of sports? Now I would like to show you how to form simple present WH questions. Let's start by analyzing the chart on the screen. Simple present WH questions. 
What sports do you play? I play hockey and baseball. Who do you play baseball with? I play with some friends from work. We have a team. Where do you play? We play at Hunter Park. How often do you practice? We practice once or twice a week. When do you practice? We practice on Sundays. What time do you start? We start at 10 o'clock in the morning. The goal of using WH questions is to obtain more detailed information from someone. In this case, we want to know everything about the person's response, I play baseball. So we ask, what sports, who, where, how often, when, what time? In order to form simple present WH questions, we can follow this next formula. WH word plus do or does plus the subject plus the verb plus some kind of complement. Let's analyze a couple of questions now. In the example, where do you play? The WH word is where. Then we add the auxiliary verb do. After that, we add the subject you. Next, we add the verb play. Finally, we add the complement. In this case, we don't have a complement because from our previous question and answer, we understand that we're talking about baseball. There's one particular question that I would like to point out. Who do you play baseball with? This type of question may sound a little strange in some languages because of the location of the words who and with. So I would like to explain the following. We can ask this question in two ways. The most common in American English is who do you play baseball with? The other way is by saying, with whom do you play baseball? It's not very common, but it's correct and formal to express yourself like this. So to understand the question, who do you play baseball with? Let me write a quick formula. Who plus do or does plus subject plus the verb plus noun plus with. As the example shows, we start our question with who. Next, we put an auxiliary verb, do. After that, the subject, you. Next, we need to add the verb and noun, play baseball. I would like to point out that sometimes it's not necessary to add a noun, just the verb so we can easily say, who do you play with? without adding baseball. Finally, we add with and the question mark. Now it's your turn to practice making simple present WH questions. If possible, practice with the partner and practice asking and answering the questions. You may ask about sports or fun activities or whatever comes to your mind. The goal is to practice as much as possible. After you finish this activity, please share your work in our discussion forums. Very good. So, if you notice, and we go back to this example, the sentences that you were creating, las que estuvimos creando, I, or in the fall, I play, in the spring. ¿Qué información estamos dando? ¿Qué tipo de información? La época en que jugamos, ok? En este caso, season. ¿En qué season jugamos diferentes deportes? So, ¿cuál sería nuestra pregunta a todos los ejemplos que hemos creado? I play soccer in the winter. I go skiing. So, ¿qué tipo de información? ¿Qué pregunta usaríamos entonces para lo que acabamos de crear? What is sport do you play? Mm, puede ser una. What sports do you play? 
during summer. O miren, también está. When. Yeah. When do you practice? ¿Cuándo? Porque nosotros mencionamos al inicio. Seasons, ¿ok? When do you practice? In summer, I play soccer. So, when do you practice? In summer, ¿ok? So, look at this WH questions. ¿A qué le llamamos WH questions? To those, ok, valga la redundancia, preguntas, to those questions, who start with WH or, in this case, this one, how. Este en sí no empieza con WH, pero sí es parte del grupo. How often, how often, ok. También lleva WH, quizás no en ese orden, pero sí. So, what, who, where, how often, when, what time. So, all of this information is going to help us to collect more details. Todas estas WH questions nos ayudan a recolectar más información, información detallada de lo que estamos practicando. So, class, let me ask you, what sports do you play? What sports do you play? What sports do you play, class? Okay, ah, but let's give complete sentences. I play. I, if you see, my question is in plural. What sports do you play? Les doy una opción grande, ¿ok? No les estoy diciendo cuáles exactamente juegan. ¿Qué deportes juegan? You can Please. mention one or two. Volleyball. I play sí. basketball, I play volleyball. Yes, Catherine, Alicia, what sports do you play? I play soccer, okay. and I play basketball. You play basketball? Very good. Emma, Javilet, what sports do you play? I play soccer. You play soccer, very good. Marvin, what sports do you play? I play soccer and volleyball. I play soccer and volleyball. Carmen, he said, what sports do you play? I play basketball. You only play basketball. Very good. So, let me find out more information. Quiero saber más. Juegan basketball, volleyball. Who do you play? Who do you play? Then we write the sport with. Who do you play with? Con quien juegan? Who do you play with? With your friends, people from work, family members, maybe, with your siblings, your neighbors. Who Brilliant. do you play with? Uh -huh. Who do you play um, with? With my family. Yeah, with my with friends. Family, with your friends. Who do you play with? ¿Con quién juegan? Gaby, Zaira, Marina. Who do you play with? ¿Con quién juegan? Any sport. It can be bike riding. It can be when you go swimming. Who do you play with? ¿Con quién juegan? I go skiing with my husband. Okay, very good. With your husband. So I, because it's personal information. I play with some friends from work. Look at this example. I play with some friends from work as well. This is very common, you know, to play with people from work. So, who? Who do you play with? ¿Con quién juegan? Ahora ya sé con quién juegan y qué juegan. So, let me ask you. Where? Where do you play? Where do you play? Or where do you practice your sport? Where do you play? Can you give me some examples? Where? Hmm? ¿En dónde jugaríamos o practicaríamos algún deporte? Where? In the university. Okay, at the university. In a court. In, a In court? the park. Mm -hmm. Why is it pink? ¿Por qué tengo rosado? Ni idea. Okay. Court, university. What else? In the house. 
uh -huh. in your maybe backyard. In my backyard. Basketball court. Mm -hmm. Where where else? In my backyard. Give me more examples. Where? In, uh, in the college. Okay. The it's the same, right? Court. Court. And we can have different courts. ¿Qué, son, ¿Qué es esto? Class, la primera, courts. Es una cancha. cancha. ¿Qué tipo de cancha tenemos? The basketball, the football. Basketball. Court. Uh -huh. Volleyball. Tennis. Court. And this is just to give Soccer. you an example. Soccer court. Very Tennis. Good. Tennis court and some other examples. So this is the most common play. Where, where do you play? Uh, and if you notice here at the example, where do you play? Look, we play at a gym near the office. The same, you know? Muchas veces también a las canchas le llamamos gym. No es donde se hace ejercicio y que toda la gente va, no, también. Es un sinónimo, podemos decir course or gym. A esa área grande donde se juega y muchas veces es techada. El área techada le llamamos gym. Si ¿Sí está claro, no es el lugar donde se va a hacer ejercicio, pesas y todo eso, ¿no? Gym, también le llamamos gym. Okay? This is extra information. How often? How often do you practice? How often? In this case, we can use time expressions or adverbs of frequency. ¿Se acuerdan de los adverbs of frequency? How often do you practice? I practice. Yes? How often do you practice? I practice once a week, twice a week. Once a year. Bien, once. ¿Saben qué es esto? Once. Una vez. Or twice. Una vez, dos veces. ¿Y cómo decimos tres veces? Do we have an expression? Three times. Three times. De tres en adelante, solo le agregamos times. Times, times. Once, twice, three times. So how often do you practice? Usemos estos ejemplos. Once a week. Twice a week. Or three times a week. Or never. <laughs> When I remember. I don't remember. When I remember, when I have yeah. the time, how often do you practice? Very good. Once a week, twice a week, three times a week. When do you practice? Ah, when. In this case, we are being specific. I practice on Tuesday and Thursday. I practice on Sundays, okay? When, cuando. Que fecha, que días, okay? When do you practice? And the last one, what time? This is very specific information. What time do you have your soccer game? I have or I play on Sundays morning at six, at seven, at eight, okay? At 2 p.m. So a specific time. So Questions about this one, about this information, or is it clear? What sports, who do you play with? Where do you play? How often do you practice? When do you practice and what time? Questions about this. ¿Cómo estamos con estas preguntas? Si están claras as WH questions? Yes, no? Yes. Yes. Yes, right. También le voy a compartir eso. So, let's go and check the platform. We still have some minutes. What are you going to do then? Knowledge checked. 5.4. Look at instructions. You have to complete the conversation with the correct WH question. Completemos la conversación con la palabra correcta, con la WH. ¿Cómo sé cuál voy a elegir? Si se fijaron, teníamos cuántas. Let me go back. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, six different WH questions. Ninguna se confunde o se puede mezclar. Creo que está bien clara la información. What, who, where, how often, when and what time. So if you go to the platform, look, veamos la respuesta. This is a conversation entre A and B. Están conversando A and B. I watch sports on television every weekend. Really? What sports do you like to watch? Soccer. It's my favorite. Bien. Y dice acá. Do you usually watch soccer? Y luego dice. On Sunday's afternoon. Nos está dando una información específica. On Sunday's afternoon. Revisemos cuál podemos usar. On Sunday's afternoon. ¿Cuál sería nuestra pregunta entonces? When. 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 Aquí When. está, miren. When. Cuando damos día específico. On Sunday's afternoon. When. Exactamente. Vamos a la plataforma. Buscamos. Y seleccionamos when. When do you usually watch soccer? On Sunday's afternoon. Y así vamos a ir, ¿ok? Seleccionando de acuerdo a la respuesta. Y dice acá, no, at my friend's house. He has a really big television. Okay. ¿Cuál sería nuestra pregunta? And. Where. 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 Porque le pregunta. Where do you usually watch it at home? Y le dicen, no, at my friend's house. Y así. Completamos nuestra conversación. Preguntas sobre esta sección y cómo la vamos a completar. Yes, no. ¿Qué? Okay. Don't forget. Este es el propósito de la sesión. Aclarar dudas y hacer ejercicios similares a la plataforma para que no lo puedan, eh, que no tengan problemas al responderlo. Okay. So, we still have time. Look at this one. What do we have next? Wow, vamos avanzando muy rápido con esta sección. Vamos a bajarle la velocidad, ¿ok? Can and can't, but this is going to be for tomorrow's class. By the end of this class, you will learn to sound natural when using can and can't. Al final de esta clase, o mañana, mejor dicho, Aprenderán a sonar natural cuando usen puedo y no puedo. So can and can't. But let me go back. No quiero que nos vayamos con dudas sobre esto. Simple present. Teacher, teacher. Yes, tell me. Excuse me, yo sí tengo una pregunta. Démosle, eh, no, me, no me quedó muy claro en el who y el with. Ah, ¿por qué lo usamos with? Ajá, correcto, bien, sí. bien, hagamos un ejemplo. Who do you play basketball with? Siempre sí les voy a recomendar que no tratemos de traducir literal del inglés al español porque muchas veces no concuerda. En este caso, la expresión who es, ¿qué significaría who? Con quién. Who, who, very good. Who do you have breakfast? Cambiemos el sentido a la conversación para que vean que con cualquier ejemplo funciona. ¿Con quién tienes tu desayuno? ¿Ok? Para in this case, esta es la fórmula correcta o este sería, mejor dicho, el orden correcto para preguntar con quién. Primero vamos a ir la expresión who, que es con quién. Y al final, la expresión with, que es como un complemento. ¿Con quién desayunas? Who do you have breakfast with? Y en el ejemplo, si se fijaron, decía, podemos utilizar otra expresión que es bien formal, no tan común, pero sí se usa en inglés. Y decía, with whom... Whom es una expresión también que significa con quién. 
with whom? Let me see. Deme un ejemplo. ¿Con quién? Do you play basketball? With whom? I'm sorry. You play basketball. Ah, okay. Muy bien. Para que pongan su ejemplo. You play basketball. Aquí sí si es bien hasta se lee casi en español. Miren, ¿con quién juegas basketball? With whom you play basketball. Pero la que más, bueno, en mi caso me gusta usar más y suena más bonita para mí es who and with al final. Pero también podemos decir with whom, con quién, with whom. Y luego, you have breakfast. Y al final, si se fijan, no ponemos nada más porque el with va al inicio. Es como que cambia un poco el orden, si se fijan. With lo ponemos al inicio y luego en lugar de who ponemos whom, que también hace referencia con quién. No sé si me doy a entender con este ejemplo o necesitamos más ejemplos. Class. No. Yes, is clear? Yeah. Yes, no? Yes, yes, yes. Yes, it is. Yes. yes it's clear. It's clear. Hoy se me hizo bien corta la clase. Siempre se me hizo bien cortita. So, Don't forget to practice. Les comparto ahorita en el chat el cuadrito de la información y vamos a seguir cuando we are going to meet tomorrow. Tomorrow. That was very fast. Tomorrow. tomorrow. So, thank you so much for being in the class. Have a great night. Okay. Descansen okay. mucho. Bye bye. Good See you night. Thank you. Bye. Night to you. Good night. Bye bye. Take care. Good night. 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 Good night.